Hi, welcome to another mini lecture on pre-calculus. Today we are going to look at some applications of exponential function. So I have uh, underlined several key phrases here just to show you the extent of application that we have in mind. Uh, first one, you see uh, we are talking about investment growth and the interest on investment. Second problem, we have the issue of depreciation. So a computer is purchased and every year it is its value is being decreased by a certain amount. And then we want to figure out the resale value after a certain number of years. So these are the key phrases that tell us you're dealing with such a problem. This is uh, another example of investment. Uh, uh, <coughs> and finally, we have an example of uh, radioactive decay, half-life, and uh, that issue coming up. And the last question in my list is related to population growth. If we have a population growing at a certain rate, how can we forecast the population in the future? All of these uh, problems have a common uh, theme to themselves. Let's go ahead and take a look at the very first one, and it will tell us what the story is. So we have a certain original amount that is referred to as principal. So we have like $2,300 that we put in a bank account. And we assume that the bank is paying us a fixed rate of interest for a certain number of years. The banks uh, typically uh, refer to this kind of investment as certificate of the deposit. Now, this bank is giving us 9%. That means every dollar, if you have a dollar, uh, that's going to increase by 9 cents at the end of the year. So one dollar becomes 1.09. So if I have $2,300, and I'm getting 9% interest at the end of first year I'll have 1.09 for each dollar that I had at the beginning so I multiply by 1.09 I'll find out how much it's after one year so up to here is after one year so at the beginning of the second year I'm going to take all of this amount invest it again and again I'm by my contract, I'm still receiving the same 9%. So I'm going to multiply by 1.09 the second time. So this is by the end of the second year. And then we do that for each year. So this is for the third year. And then 1.09 fourth year. And then 1.09 fifth year. And then 1.09 sixth year. Well, we have a notation in uh, algebra that simplifies this uh, silly writing here. So we simply take the original principal, multiply by 1 plus the interest rate, so 1.09. Interest rate has to be converted to decimal, of course, uh, not left as a percentage. And then raised to the number of years that we are leaving the money in the account, so times uh, to the power of 6. So we have this uh, amount in our account at the end of the uh, 6 years. So uh, if you are on... Uh, so you notice that in these problems the software allows you to use the calculator and the calculator is the calculator that is uh, <coughs> given by Alex itself. So, of course, no different than a typical calculator. You say for 2,300, and then we multiply. It was 1.09, excuse me, 1.09, let me erase this, 2,300 times 1.09, excuse me, to the power of, This is the power button and we were there for six years and then we find out that we are going to have $3,857 and then we are being asked to 
uh, uh, round to the nearest dollar. So 33 uh, is less than 50 cents, so we are going to round it to 38.57. So that's all there is to this type of problem. Uh, it's just that it's important <coughs> to see the, the application. So first one is application to uh, finance. So in the finance we have uh, uh, <coughs> the amount on the account is equal to the principal times 1 plus now in the case of the annual compounding we just have the interest rate converted to decimal and then we raise it to the number of years that you are going to have the money on the account. <coughs> in uh, some variation on this theme sometimes they do semi-annual compounding monthly compounding daily and so on you have to modify this problem slightly the formula slightly to get those kind of uh, cases result here is the <coughs> uh, opposite of that that if you have an electronic it's going to depreciate by certain amount every year and then we want to find a resale value if you have ever been in the unfortunate situation to make a claim against your insurance for your electronics you are going to notice this thing immediately I had an uh, unfortunate case of a lightning zapping my computer and by the end of their uh, calculation my computer was worth only $30 so how, how does that happen uh, let's see if I have <coughs> Uh, something that's depreciating by 30% it means uh, every dollar is going to lose 30 cents off of it and a dollar becomes 70 cents so this is going to be a dollar becomes 70 cents at the end of one year so if you have 800 something that you bought for $800 at the end of the first year it's only valued at 800 times 0 .0, 0 0.7 that means well $560 you keep it one more year it depreciates again you keep it one more year it depreciates again and you have to play this game seven uh, me, five times and again we have a short uh, formula for this 800 times 0 0.7 to power of 5 Again, you use your calculator to find out <coughs> what the amount is going to be, and you notice that the value is going to depreciate quickly. And typically, an insurance company says after five years, your device is essentially uh, of no value, and so you want to be aware of that. <coughs> uh, this is another example of. Uh, interest rate calculation uh, same problem as before so just uh, on the previous one the, for the depreciation uh, depreciation so the original value let's call it original value V0 times 1 minus uh, what do we call this thing let's say depreciation you have to write it in decimal again of course this is 0 0.30 and then you raise it to the number of years you have kept the device and the va so V is the value at the end of value at the end or after in years V0 notation of sub zero is typically used for initial value the value you uh, bought it for and D is the depreciation year, uh, D is depreciation N is the number of years of course uh, situation is somewhat even more extreme than that as soon as you buy an, an equipment and you just walk it out off of the lot it already depreciates so uh, it the problem this this is a kind of a rosy scenario in, in, in effect things depreciate even faster than this okay uh, this is the interest rate calculation let me just write 
like 4200 what did we say 1.085 this is interest and we are keeping it for 11 years so that's what you have to calculate here okay this one uh, the language is a little bit different for radioactive substances we have something called half-life after half-life only half of the substance is left so the critical phrase here is half-life what does that mean if you start with this radioactive substance and you have 120 grams of it if you keep it one year only half of it is there and then after another year again another half is going to be there the rest of it is converted to some other substance and then one half how many times are we going to do this thing well we are going to do this thing five times so it's going to be 120 grams times one half Excuse me, one half to the power of five. Once you simplify this thing how you want, this is of course you don't need the calculator for this, you can do it like this and then simplify uh, by a factor of eight. Uh, this is going to be 15, this is going to be four, so that's going to be. Uh, 3.75 grams left of this substance so radioactive material they <clears throat> okay so this is during one cycle so this is a uh, one half life if I said year I have to correct myself after one half life whatever it happens to be we have half of it left and then this is after a second half life and, and so on we go and this is after the fifth, fifth half-life. So if I said years, uh, I have to correct myself. So that, uh, after one half-life, whatever it is, that's how much of the substance is left. Okay, uh, final example, population growth, same kind of a problem. Sometimes the formula is written like this, population, uh, population. Population at some time t is population at time zero times one plus the growth rate raised to the power of number of years you are waiting. So in this case we have two hundred and eighty thousand original population. Every year the population increases by six point seven pi so six percent. It's 0 0.0675 and then we are going for 12 years so we get used to writing it uh, right off the bat as 1.0675 so I have to take this thing and divide it by 100 of course and then raise to the power of number of years that you have and then you go and use your calculator to figure out how this thing works out so uh, something that is changing at a fixed rate on a regular cycle something changing at a fixed rate on a regular cycle we want to find out how much of this thing is going to be at the end of a certain period so in the case of the finance original amount is called principal and this is accrued amount and this is number of years that you have and R is the interest rate written in decimal okay until next time good luck and God bless